Hello and welcome back. If you're a fan like me, you'll agree that Dr. Quinn, Medicine Woman, 1993, stands among the greatest TV series ever. So, how about joining me today? Ready? Let's dive in and rekindle some incredible memories. Jeffrey Lower played the character Reverend Timothy Johnson. He was 30 years old when the TV series ran in 1993. Fast forward to today, he's a lively 60-year-old soaking up the best of life right here in Casper, Wyoming. There are so many of us out there who not only were articulate about the issue but chose to use their platforms to, to amplify it. Chad Allen played Matthew Cooper in the TV series when he was 19 years old in 1993. Check it out. At 49 years old, he's rocking a fulfilling life jam-packed with passions right here in Cerritos, California. The bridge over the river. Thing. The novel. Yeah, yes, yeah. that's the one. And I wrote you. Sean Tuvey played the character Brian Cooper. He was 10 years old when the TV series ran in 1993. Son, please. Here he is, at a cool 40, chillin' in Lincoln, Nebraska, enjoying a happy life with family and friends by his side. Word of English. And so once I got there, I would just sit there like a mute child. So I went through that type of phase and uh, my teacher Jonelle Allen played the character Grace. She was 49 years old when the TV series ran in 1993. Here she is at a cool 79, chilling in New York City, New York, enjoying a happy life with family and friends by her side. Certain lands of the Shire, and they go and travel. They go back to the lands of Gondor and Rohan and spend some time with. Frank Collison played the character Horace Bing in the TV series when he was 43 years old in 1993. Guess it's pretty much goodbye then. Yeah, I guess it is. Check it out, at 74 years old, he's rocking a fulfilling life jam-packed with passions right here in Evanston, Illinois. And I shifted my focus into other more sort of personal creative endeavors. And then uh, I started thinking... Uh, Joe Lando played the character Byron Sully in the TV series when he was 32 years old in 1993. Thinking, uh-uh. When people stare out at the ocean and get all quiet like, they're moping. So get up and come with me. That car I found, we're getting run. Fast forward to today, he's a lively 62-year-old soaking up the best of life right here in Prairie View, Illinois. I go about good. Mm -hmm. it was good that's definitely um the biggest hurdle you know that mm -hmm. was like oh. orson bean played the character lauren bray he was 65 years old when the tv series ran in 1993 to sydney look i've been preparing for this for years just put me on the bus right now. I can do this. No, you can't. 
Sadly, on February 7, 2020, he left us due to being struck by a car at the age of 91 in Venice, Los Angeles, California. His passing deeply saddens us. Some people might have thought it was great. Some people were dissatisfied. I think a lot of people were going to be dissatisfied, almost no matter what they did. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not exactly sure what they did. Jim Nobelock played the character Jake Slicker. He was 43 years old when the TV series ran in 1993. Here he is, at a cool 73, chilling in Belleville, Illinois, enjoying a happy life with family and friends by his side. A certain kind of confidence, um, that if I had even one sixteenth of that uh, confidence, I might be slightly happier than I. Jane Seymour played the character Dr. Quinn, medicine woman, in the TV series when she was 42 years old in 1993. What about you? Want to stay here in crazy town or help me rescue the kid? Fast forward to today, she's a lively 73-year-old soaking up the best of life right here in Uxbridge, Middlesex, England. I'm shaking by now. Yeah. My American really wants to come out, right? I'm like, stop it. So I get to the front of the line, and there's this guy strutting around with his... Larry Sellers played the character Cloud Dancing. He was 44 years old when the TV series ran in 1993. John, listen. I have information that you need. I have answers. December 9th, 2021 was a tough one. He left us due to natural causes at 72 years old in Pawhuska, Oklahoma. It's a sad loss for all of us. Because in my vision of the end of the series, uh -huh. everybody marches off into the afterlife in pairs, like, like in the fifth act of a Shakespearean.